So we're going to start with, guess what? Allegheny County. We'd like to invite Dr. Matthew Ravenscroft. He is the new teacher of the year. He is a social studies 9th through 12th teacher from Mountain Ridge High School. He has a doctorate of education from Frostburg State University, a master's and bachelor's degree, both degrees from West Virginia University. He is the government bridge coordinator, served as student council advisor and mentor teacher. Let's give him a big round of applause. We're on to Anne Arundel County. Joshua Carroll teaches at South River High School, happens to be a blue ribbon school. He's a STEM teacher, teaches grade 10. Josh teaches project-based learning and serves as the interim department chair. He's a member of the principal's leadership team, chair of the student recognition committee, and he's also head cross-country coach Josh Carroll. From Baltimore City, let's welcome Justin Holbrook from Roland Park Elementary Middle School. He is a fourth grade math and science teacher. He's here with his CEO, Dr. Sonia Santelisis, who's been very fortunate the last two years because she's had Maryland Teachers of the Year from Baltimore City. Uh, Justin is the chair of his community school family council, a member of the school leadership team. He also co-founded or founded the professional learning net network known as Be More Ed Chat, is a part of a national instructional documentary entitled Gray Matters. And as I'm getting older, you know, <laughs> from Baltimore County, let's welcome Rebecca Ike from Owings Mills Elementary School. She's a second grade teacher. Rebecca implements a welcoming and caring atmosphere in her classroom. In her seventh year of teaching, she served as professional development mentor, presented workshops for new teachers, taken an active role in the community. She has a bachelor's in early childhood education and a master's in instructional technology. Big round of applause for Rebecca I. And now let's welcome from Calvert County, Kelly Raby, who teaches at Windy Hill Elementary School. She's an ESOL teacher for the entire school, K through five. Kelly Raby has degrees in curriculum, instruction, elementary education, and early childhood education, along with an ESOL endorsement. She's taught in several states as well as in Japan and Portugal. Kelly is active on the equity, wellness, relay for life, and girls gotta run teams at her school, and firmly believes success in education is about building relationships. We congratulate <laughs> Kelly Raby. And now from Caroline County, let's welcome Jennifer Gunter, who teaches at Greensboro Elementary School. Jennifer teaches grade five. Jennifer has a master's degree in curriculum and instruction, a bachelor's degree in elementary education. She's taught in various settings, including co-teaching in a special education inclusion classroom, as well as co-teaching with an English language learning teacher. Congratulations, Jennifer Gunter. And now let's welcome from Carroll County, Dr. Thomas McHugh, who teaches at Century High School, English teacher, grades nine through 12, BA degrees in education and English, an MA in English, and a PhD in education. He's an expert in curriculum design, presents at state and national levels. Big round of applause for Tom McHugh. And coming up now from Cecil County, Trayvon Morgan, who teaches at Perryville Middle School, English Language Arts, grade six. Uh, Trayvon has a Bachelor of Science degree in English li Literature and a minor in Art History and a Master's of Arts in Teaching. As an educational leader and advocate, he volunteers over 800 hours annually, helping families with life skills that are both practical and beneficial in their daily lives. Let's give a big round of applause to Trayvon. Moving on, let's welcome Charles County, Denise Childers, who teaches at La Plata High School. She's an English teacher. Uh, Denise is department chair and teacher, has two bachelor's degrees, 
uh, is nationally board certified. Also, she's a presenter, curriculum writer, and teacher mentor who was a semifinalist for the Washington Post Agnes Meyer Teacher of the Year Award. She also directs La Plata's High's award-winning a cappella group, Unplugged. Congratulations, Denise. From Dorchester County, let's welcome Sean Reinecke who teaches at Cambridge South Dorchester High School. He's a social studies uh, teacher, grades 9 through 12. Sean has a bachelor's degree in history, social studies, certification, and a master's in education. He helped write the U.S. Perspectives curriculum. He also started the school's cross-country program, which has won two conference titles, yes, and 23 regional titles and their first-ever state title. Let's congratulate Sean. And now, moving on from Frederick County, Karima Sharper, who is a special education teacher at Centerville Elementary School. Karima has bachelor's degrees in special and elementary education and a master's degree. She, as a special ed teacher, she provides inclusive small group instruction uh, to many students with special needs. She's also a member of the administrative leadership team and the special education team leader. A big round of applause for Karima Sharper. And now let's invite Garrett County's Heather Roth. Heather Roth teaches uh, at bro both Broadford Elementary School and Crellin Elementary School. She is a music teacher. She's the creator of two student-driven ensembles. She was named Oakland Elk Lodge's Elementary Teacher of the Year, serves on the Garrett Lakes Arts Festival Education Committee, and on the executive board of the Garrett County Education Association. Congratulations to Heather. And now... Let's invite Amy Mangold from Harford County to come on up. She is a special ed teacher at John Archer School. Uh, Amy teaches students with severe intellectual and physical disabilities. She serves on the instructional leadership and school improvement teams, presents county professional development, mentors students from local universities. She also promotes independent living skills for adults with special needs. Please congratulate Amy Mangold. From Howard County, Dr. Maddie Halbach, who is an Applications and Research Laboratory Academy of Finance teacher. Uh, Maddie was recognized as the 2016 Maryland Financial Literacy Teacher of the Year. Boy, do I need her help. Her students have been state and national winners of the Personal Finance Challenge trained teachers nationwide on financial literacy. Congratulations, Maddie Halbach. And now let's welcome from Kent County, Jadina Frazier, who teaches at Henry Highland Garnett uh, Elementary School. She's a fifth grade language arts teacher. She a has a master's in elementary reading and math. She um, has uh, engaged students in adopting a soldier and reading partnerships. She's a mentor to prospective educators, participates in the nurturing program, Parks and Recreation, Summer Youth, Jadina. And now let's welcome from Montgomery County, Montgomery County, Nancy Shea, who teaches at Richard Montgomery High School. She's an English teacher. Nancy has a master's from Brandeis. She coordinates the Homework Supper Club, runs rich talk discussion forums on culture, prejudice, and equity, leads the English department. Uh, Nancy was her district's <laughs> Krista McCullough Fellow and has published several articles. Congratulations, Nancy. Great job. And now from Prince George's County, please welcome Carolyn Marski, who teaches at Ridgecrest Elementary School. She's a fifth grade teacher. Carolyn Marski holds a master's degree in public policy from the University of California at Berkeley, a bachelor's degree in human biology from Stanford. Mm -hmm. She guides her students in the arts, literature, and history and how they relate to current events using writing, staging, and performing plays. Congratulations, Carolyn. And now let's welcome Queen Anne's County, Marsha McNeil, who teaches at Centerville Middle School. 
She is an eighth grade math teacher. Uh, Marcia has a bachelor's of science degree in elementary education, a master of education in curriculum and instruction. Uh, she's nationally board certified in mathematics. She's a school improvement team member. Congratulations to her. From St. Mary's County, Kristen McIntyre, who teaches at Greenville Knowles Elementary School. She's an instructional resource teacher. Uh, Kristen holds master's degrees from Virginia Commonwealth University and a bachelor's degree in psychology. She leads professional development, develops the school improvement plan, runs collaborative planning meetings, and was chosen a master teacher for Maryland. Congratulations to Kristen McIntyre. And here from Somerset County, actually one of the first people to arrive, Somerset County, from very far away, let's welcome Sarah Perdue, uh, who is an art teacher, pre-K through five, teaches at Princess Anne Elementary School. Sarah has a master's degree in art education and a bachelor's degree in psychology and graphic design. She co-teaches math as well as teaching art raises awareness of domestic violence, drug abuse, and cancer. Congratulations to her. And Talbot County's Katie Fox, who's a kindergarten teacher at Tillman Elementary School. Uh, Katie <clears throat> has a Bachelor of Arts in Elementary and Early Childhood Education, an MED in Curriculum and Instruction. She is the STEM and Primary Talent Development Representative and a member of the School Improvement and Equity Team. She directs the board of the Tillman Area Youth Association and the Gifted and Talented Advisory Committee. Big round of applause for Katie Fox. And let's welcome from Washington County, Carolyn Holcomb, uh, who teaches at Western Heights Middle School. She is a seventh and eighth grade science teacher. With a biology degree from St. Mary's College, Carolyn worked initially as a scientist. After obtaining her master's degree, she discovered her love of teaching. She is a recipient of the Honeywell NASA Space Camp Scholarship, and she's presented at numerous science conventions and colleges. Congratulations. <laughs> and let's move on to Wicomico County. Uh, Kristen Taka, who is a reading teacher, all grades, K through five, at Prince Street Elementary School. Kristen has a master's in reading instruction from Goucher, a bachelor's degree in elementary education from Towson. She's a member of the Wicomico County Mentoring Program and currently the school-wide Title I Parent Involvement Coordinator for her school. Congratulate Kristen Taka. We would like to welcome Worcester County's Teacher of the Air, Julia Hill. Worcester Technical High School teaches mathematics grades 10 through 12. Julia has a bachelor's in mathematics, a master's in mathematics education, and is currently pursuing a doctorate in educational technology. She serves as an adjunct for the Worcester chapter, chapter of Skills USA. And outside school, she mentors teenage mothers across her county. Another big round of applause for all the amazing teachers of the year. 